Hey everyone, welcome back to another Terraria video. Today, we are checking out Terraria mods that add in quote unquote dimensions. Now, there is a couple that I know of. There might be some ones that I don't know of that add in dimensions, but we're going to go over ones that I know that do. Starting out with the Enigma mod, which is a great mod. I've done a playthrough of it. It has its own class called the Mystic class, and it adds in a dimension called the Ethereal Dimension. And we're going to check it out here. So the way we get there is we have to fight a certain boss from the mod for the first time. And I went through on a new world, killed every boss, except for the one boss that we need to kill, which is this one right here, Etheria. So I'm going to summon it in, kill it. Okay. May not be uh, the right biome or anything that I'm in. Let me make it nighttime too. That might help out a little bit. Let's try this again. Boom. Die. And look at that, just like that. You're trapped in my world now. Veins burst through the world. I love it when my veins burst. But look at this. The music didn't change. I don't know what's been up with my Terraria music recently. Oh, it's because I have a music box on. Let's see. There we go. The last video I recorded, there was like no music at all. So I had to put on a music box. But listen to the music. very creepy very ambient but the whole entire world is blue now let's just visit some areas look at that dungeon blue what the hell is this i don't know what this is i haven't played this mod in a minute but i did do a full playthrough with this mod installed it was really cool look at the cultists blue well literally this says they're blue but yeah a lot of the areas blue look at this golem arena right here this is insane Look how good of an arena this is. It's just a giant box. No like blocks in the way or anything. How amazing is that? That is great generation. But yeah, you may be like, Gamer Dares, so what's up with this ethereal dimension you're in? So when you get trapped in this ethereal dimension, the only way to get out is to fight the boss again. And you will be let out of the dimension. As you can see, her health is a lot more. What was it? 10,000 earlier when we fought her. Now it's 172,000. I am in expert mode, so keep that in mind. But yeah, the other thing about being in the ethereal dimension is that all vanilla bosses and bosses in the mod are way stronger. Think of it like sort of like master mode. Not as hard as master mode, but let me just read some of the uh, stat upgrades and things that they get. King Slime, HP increased to 70,000. Replace the original AI to ethereal King Slime AI spawns super slimes when hit. Let's see it. Look at that. What the hell is even going on? This dude is flying around. We saw the giant slimes he spawned in when you kill him. Uh, not only are the bosses like they have new abilities and stuff like that. They're different, but they also drop insanely good and new accessories if you're an expert. So like this is really a dope mod when you come into the dimension to fight like all these different variants of the bosses the etherified bosses is what they're called and it's really cool but let's go ahead let's fight etheria let's get the hell out of here we got some other mods we need to check out as you can see though as we fight her she gets a shadow i'm pretty sure her like smile or mouth grows bigger every time you do damage too very creepy but now look at that we are back in the regular world thank the lord all right let's head on to the next mod all right so i have the polarities mod installed here and we are gonna check out the fractal dimension from it we have to kill this riff denizen boss and i believe it should open up a portal after we kill it let's see how it is so i think this boss is actually like in the background of the map which is really cool sort of like the moon lord uh i don't know how i'm supposed to kill it though oh did i do it wow this is a cool attack <laughs> shout out the polarities mod they're changing the game up over here look at this attack this is awesome and there you go a chaotic rift has formed in the sky we have to find it where is it it says it's usually towards the center of the map oh there it is i see it and i believe we just right click on this oh whoa here we are it's pretty much like we joined a whole new world let me go ahead let me discover the map here i don't like that i joined this world and it completely changed my ui size that's interesting wow this is uh this is unique to say the least i don't know what you're supposed to do in this dimension maybe you just mine ores maybe the there's a couple other things you can get your hands on here. I've not played through the polarities mod. I do want to eventually. It's a great mod. Updates a lot. But this is sick. This really is sick. This is legit a whole new world. I don't know how to get out of here. I should probably look at the wiki real quick. All right. To get out of here, we just use the magic mirror or there's like a button we can hit. Return. Boom. Cool. 
I like that. Nice and simple to get out of here. I definitely feel like that one compared to the Enigma mod is definitely uh, an actual separate dimension rather than just, you know, changing up the overworld a little bit, making it blue. But I still like the Enigma mods version too. And I really like the polarities mod too on to the next one all right so the next mod is the pinky mod which is a very underrated mod it's a great mod another mod that i want to get around to playing eventually we'll see what happens but yeah we get to this dimension by defeating one of the bosses in the mod the dungeon constructor uh which is this guy well how do i summon him naturally can only be summoned around the dungeon area how okay whatever i'm just gonna summon him in like that look at him bony boy let's kill him and this should open up something i think i don't know it says it can only be accessed after killing him by right clicking a mine portal with a mine seal okay so he drops the mine seal where the hell is the mine portal at though this looks like maybe a portal is over here oh look at that i guessed right boom nope wait, wait. boom no boom 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 no only usable in ATOGAM mode. What the heck is Atogam mode? How do I activate Atogam mode? All right, so Atogam mode you have to activate in the mod settings or config, which is a little bit stupid. I feel like if the dimensions are a part of the mod itself you might as well make it so you have to use it to progress because like what's the point of having all the cool dimensions and traveling around in this mod if it isn't a requirement by default i feel like this should be on by default and you should disable it if you want to but it should be on by default all right let's see if this works now there we go Ooh, look we got a little loading screen too how cool and just like that we are in the void i believe it's called let me go ahead and pull up the map here i'm gonna go ahead and expose the map it seems like whatever mod uses like dimensions it like resizes your ui every time you enter the dimension which that's a very interesting bug there but look at this yes i would definitely consider this a void look at it it's got a couple of biomes uh, all very dark and spooky they look really cool though i'm loving the blocks i'm loving the trees i'm loving the looks of this honestly we got this biome over here don't know what the hell this is called don't know any of the biomes we got like the mountains over here this is very cool uh and then over here to the right we got like sort of like a dungeon type biome i guess i don't know it's got a couple structures to it my bad if it's a little dark here uh there should be enemies here but i think i have enemies spawning disabled I i've had it disabled for the last couple mods but each, each mod usually has a couple enemies spawning in here there but the main thing you're supposed to do here is fight a couple of bosses so i guess let's show off those bosses really quick i'm not really gonna fight them uh but we have the mind god and we have the gatekeeper i don't know which one is which look at that wow look at the background change colors too it's really dark now and then the mind god the mind god i believe is a post moon lord boss in this mod so you know he's gonna be tough you know he's gonna be tough he has to he's post moon lord but yeah i don't want to spoil too much i'm not even gonna kill the boss uh i don't know how we get out of here i'm assuming we just right click on the portal again that's what i would assume yep just like that we're out of there very cool though another thumbs up for me it's very unique i'm messing with all the mods we've seen today well all of them are good mods i know that already but let's move on to some mods that i didn't really know i had one of my boys look it up shout out my boy walu he helped me out he looked up a couple of uh dimension mods that i didn't really know about we'll go over them really quickly i'm not gonna go over them as in detail as these ones but let's check them out all right so i have the sga mod installed this is a mod i've seen on the wiki for a while now never really checked it out but i have it in installed here i killed the mech bosses and a darkness emerges from beneath the folds existence that means that we could head to one of the dimensions in this mod i just have to find exactly where to go and i have no idea if i'm being 100 honest so we're looking for an area underground called the dark sector which one of these areas looks like it would be called the dark sector i have no idea nothing really stands out besides like the green stuff but that was here before i did what i did i, I don't know let's just head down here is there anything like popping up that feels like the dark sector <laughs> okay i guess i'm just blind i don't know i'm not i'm not seeing anything i'm not seeing anything that's sticking out from usual stuff so i guess this is what we'll do we'll uh force ourselves to go into this dimension this dimension is called the limbo so if we find the dark sector say that we're in the dark sector there's an enemy that spawns there called a a null watcher i think it's an enemy i don't know what actually i have no idea what it is is it a watcher 
Water Street. Uh, what? The wiki says no watcher, but obviously when I'm trying to type in no watcher, nothing comes up. So I have no idea exactly what I'm supposed to do then. Here you go. I think I found it. I think it's this thing, the question marks. Hopefully that's it. Please touch me so I can go to this dimension. Ah, there you go. Wow. This dimension is not terrifying or anything limbo and i ain't talking about you know trying to get under the stick or the pole you know doing limbo but look at this i have exposed the map it is completely terrifying i think there's a boss we're supposed to fight here i have no idea there's either a boss or there's just like an ore we're supposed to mine let's go down here ah there you go yeah there's an ore we're supposed to mine this is really cool this is pretty cool anthropite anthro fight there you go uh i'm guessing we get back by just doing this absolutely not you must mine downwards until you reach the red layer of hardened fabric dying will also cause the player to leave the limbo okay well i was pretty much there there we go so this mod i believe has one more dimension we'll check that out and we will end the video there uh there might be a couple more mods but i feel like this video might be getting a little bit long so i kind of want to end it off maybe we'll do a part two in the future but yeah the next dimension is called deeper dungeons uh there's supposed to be a strange portal that we enter is it a possibility that i could just spawn in this strange portal oh I think I can. Let's do that. That would make my life easier. So this brings us to deeper dungeons, which are newly generated dungeons. Uh, pretty much think of it like entering like randomly generated dungeons. About I believe. Uh, do I do I talk to the portal? Enter deeper dungeons. Here we are. Let me go ahead. I'm gonna turn on the uh, brightness here. Turn it up a little bit so we can see. And I'm also gonna reveal the map. So I believe every time you enter the portal, you enter a completely new randomly generated dungeon. And this is such a sweet idea, especially for Terraria. I'm surprised that like this is one of the first mods to do it maybe there's a couple other mods that do it obviously terraria itself is randomly generated every time you play it but having like a mod where you could just go into randomly generated dungeons literally the dungeon and get like more and more loot from is pretty dope pretty good of an idea i like it a lot so hopefully some more mods in the future it doesn't have to be like the actual dungeon itself but you know something cool make like a new biome to explore a new like castle or something because that would be very fun to just have like randomly generated areas you can go to over and over to farm some loot there's a lot of loot in terraria it's like oh well if you don't get it in this world you gotta make a new world to go get it and that's not fun so having a way to like get your hands on some of the loot say like your dungeon doesn't generate a muramasa Boom, just go to like this area, these randomly generated dungeons, you'll eventually get one, right? But yeah, that's sweet, cool. Uh, to get back, we just hit return, boom, we're gone. And then if we enter again, it should be a completely new dungeon layout. Uh, so let, let's go in again, because I, I wanna see a different layout. And also there's a little bit more to it. Each floor contains another strange portal, allowing the player to infinitely go deeper if they wish. So there's like patches of ice that I think we have to break through and that will open up more portals which is even cooler because you can go deeper and deeper and boom look at that newly generated one uh let's go over here look at that there's another portal let's go deeper why not floor two we go to the other ice patch over here we can end up finding another portal somewhere something like that i don't know there's another there's another portal engine somewhere i don't know if it's actually specifically behind the ice or not but yeah this is a sweet cool idea hopefully more mods in the future do an idea like this but yeah this was a fun video to do cool to check out all the mods that add in dimensions or some of the mods that add in dimensions make sure to check out all these mods on the two mod loader mod browser shout out to all the mod developers for making these awesome and insanely cool mods i'll see y'all in the next video